So uh, a conventional treatment plant will cost anywhere from 200 to 600 dollars per cubic meter of capacity. And an organica plant, which is housed inside of a greenhouse and looks and smells like an odor-free botanical garden, is actually the same capital cost with 30% lower operating costs. And I think most importantly, what you see is that the treatment plants, when they're designed this way, can be located much closer to where people live and where people ultimately flush. So as a result, the infrastructure costs, which is 91% of total treatment costs, is significantly lower. How much are you lowering the transportation costs, connectivity and integration costs with uh, water infrastructure? So if you think about in the West, like a city like New York, where we're standing now, if it costs a dollar to treat a gallon of wastewater, 91 cents is the sewer network cost. And we're in markets uh, and cities such as New Delhi uh, or Jakarta, where there's over 10 million people and less than 10% of the wastewater is treated. So we work closely with the city to locate the treatment plants in strategic locations where they won't disturb the people and ultimately the land value, which is really the big driver. Um, and as a result, we think that you know, that sewer network cost will end up being anywhere from 30 to 50 cents of the treatment cost as they build out their infrastructure in a much more distributed or what we call localized fashion. This is a totally new way of treating water the consumer perception is going to be, isn't, it, isn't there going to be that there's some risk associated with, it's not going to be as clean as it needs to be? How do you tackle those concerns? Absolutely. It is one of the bigger challenges that we face. Uh, so the way we handle that uh, is the treatment plants are open 24-7, 365 to the public. And what we do is we take the mentality of both an architect and a civil engineer when we're designing this plan. So we know it's gonna be in the middle of a city, it has to be odor free, it has to be accessible to the public, and by bringing them closer to it, we see that a lot of that fear and that risk perception goes away. Uh, in addition to that, we have online instrumentation on all of our facilities, and to the extent the utility allows us to, we're displaying the actual compliance with local standards in real time, either on the internet or in the facility itself. One of the things you've created are prefabricated self-contained uh, uh, water treatment plants. Where are you rolling those out? And what's the application for those? Uh, so that's correct. Uh, we call those Organica Blue House. Uh, you know, our normal constructed plants are inside of a greenhouse and the Blue House comes prefabricated uh, with everything installed and within nine months of placing the order, we can have it online. Uh, for example, our first treatment plant in a new market, such as in South Africa, uh, or in the Netherlands will end up being a blue house plant. Uh, and so we can get it there fast and we can open it to the public and, and really do something about that risk perception issue that you mentioned before. And a lot of large enterprises are starting to look at this alternative as well to treat water on site. Foxconn is one of your big customers. How are they using the system? Uh, so they're actually using the system to recycle the water. Uh, it's interesting, in a lot of places if you add the cost of wastewater treatment to the cost of drinking water, which is used in most places for manufacturing or for cooling or for air conditioning, it's incredibly expensive. And if you build your own on-site treatment facility, uh, depending on what those two costs are, it can be a lot more economic for you to take the wastewater, treat it, and recycle it for manufacturing or for cooling. And so that's a big driver. You know, we don't just see that with Foxconn, we're seeing that more in the US um, and in Canada with companies like Google um, and some of their data centers as well. Well, big, I mean, big manufacturing facilities tend to use a lot of water. So what is the water savings and then resultant cost savings that you've been able to realize for companies like Foxconn? Um, so, you know, an example would be um, in the case of Foxconn and other similar applications where they build their own on-site facility, they're able to pay back that investment in anywhere from four to six years. Uh, so you're talking 20% plus IRRs for them relative to paying the utility for both drinking water and wastewater treatment. And the other part is that it's about resiliency. So they're not dependent on a third party for their supply of water or for the treatment of the water. Uh, and in some of the developing markets that we work in, for example, right. in Jakarta, 
in, in Indonesia, you know, we see that uh, as well, that that's a very critical thing to not be dependent on the utility.